Trevor and Amy here, back in Betty. Oh, I thought there was a rock. Sorry. <laughs> rock okay. Damn. Uh, All right. She is happy. I I have my uh, selfie stick. Things just feel back to normal a little bit. Yeah. But we stayed up really late last night, and so it was really halfway through my coffee before I even felt even remotely awake. Even remotely. Well, I will. I blame Mr. Sutherland. It really is Kiefer's fault. I agree completely. We were out taking the kids to the grocery store and doing some laundry at their house, and um, we ate while we while they were at the grocery store. And I told Robert I didn't think we should go to bed as soon as on the way home because we just finished eating. I thought we needed at least 30, 45 minutes, and so we ended up watching an episode of uh, Designated Survivor. Which turned into two episodes. Which, of course, turned into two episodes of Designated Survivor. <laughs> Dang it! So I don't think we went to bed till 11. Yeah, and had it not been 11 o'clock at night, there probably would have been three episodes. There probably would have been. There's so much happening right now on that show that I, we get distracted. So, needless to say, I woke up this morning like a literal zombie. Um... So halfway through the coffee, I finally had a little bit of clarity, so that was nice. Um, Robert and I are both in the black, finally. We both got paid. Yep. First paycheck after vacation is a glorious thing. Yep. And now we're just trying to decide. We, we have a flood well, issue. Well, we got to pay first. Yeah, exactly. So we have a flood issue at the house, and we need to get a, um, our shop back is acting like it's going to explode. So uh, we need another shop back. And we're going to get some bags to build up the flower bed this weekend. And that's not even including the fact that we wanted to work on the pool. Just a lot, you know? It's, it's going to take all of June. We're going to make it done. We're going to get caught up. Yep. Nothing's going to get cut off. Um, it's going to be fine. So, yeah, we're going to make it work. It's going to be okay. It's just money, you know? Like... Money will come. It comes every week. Yeah. So oh, as long as the, the people that we need to pay bills to will be a little bit patient, we, we'll get caught up. It'll be fine. I keep trying to myself up. That's my mantra. It will be fine. Ah! Charmed life. Charmed life. Charmed life. Charmed life. Charmed life. Yeah, that's me. Um, we, what did we do yesterday? Oh, we ate at Wendy's. That was horrible. It was horrible. a really bad experience. I didn't hate the food. It well, was, food was satisfying okay. in that way, but they didn't really give us our order. They could not handle the keto way. Oh my gosh. They acted like it was the hardest thing on the planet. Yeah. And then they gave us bread and anyway, extra fries. So after the show. Okay, thanks. They didn't realize that if you put fries in my, in my bag, I'm probably going to eat them. Luckily, Sam was there, and for whatever reason, Sam was also super duper interested in eating fries, so he helped with one of them. So, I did not lose. Uh, no. And I only gained a very slight amount, so I wasn't really that concerned about that a little bit. We need to be really careful. We bought a, um, Aldi's has a huge container of mixed nuts. They have like zero peanuts, and they're just so good, and they have them in sea salt, and they're super yummy. And so and I have to be really careful because they're very, there. yeah, they're very curvy. But I think nuts also have a little bit of nutritional value too, you know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. So we have a couple more things we need to purchase uh, food-wise. And then... Coffee and butter. Yeah, really coffee and butter I think are it. And if you go to the farmer's market tomorrow, you can get me some Splenda. Oh, yeah. Stevia, sorry. They have dried Stevia leaves there. With the spice guy, right? Yes. Stevia leaves. Um, or you can just wait for me all together. Whatever. I'm sure the kids want to go. Yeah, that's true. We've got, we've got the kids last too. week. Which I know I've talked to a lot of you guys, and you, um, you know, have the farmer's market, uh, close to raw milk options in your area. So I'm sure you understand that we, we go for it whenever we possibly can. Yep. We love it. It's just one day a week, but it's just fresh natural ingredients. I mean, I'm Something we can locally. actually see and control, you know. Yep. So 
I think just being in my car makes me feel like that things are getting back to normal and it's just that comfort of it. We just use the turnpike. And we use the turnpike and that. Uh, we, we live far enough away from work that not being able to take the turnpike is just super inconvenient. Yeah. I'm more than willing to pay. More than willing to pay. It it's doubles super worth it. the camp yeah. time. Especially when they're shopping. Yeah. And when it's 5 o'clock and you can jump on the turnpike and there's a third as much traffic. It's you're a third faster. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, that's where we're at. We, um, it's Friday, so it'll be a long day for me. And Robert's already, he's going to, tell them what you're going to do to my car, honey. I'm going to detail it up. Go, go. Why? Because it means it. It does. And I owe my wife an apology. Oh. I'm getting, I'm getting a physical apology. He's going to actually work on my car and make it beautiful. Like the rental was beautiful. He cleaned out the rental really nice so that when I came and we went to return it, it was just spotless perfect. So... I don't know that he'll make our car spotless perfect, but with the new grill, it's super pretty. Oh. And so, um, he's going to make the inside look like the outside. And I have a girl. And yeah. I already yeah. did and a little bit. In the summertime, we need all the coats out of the truck. Oh, oh, yeah, that's Make true. sure I got water back there, you know, sort of thing. Just get ready for the season. Exactly. So, yeah. It's perfect. So, that's the plan. We, got, we have several things to do this weekend. We're going to go get some sandbags slash dirt to fill in the flower bed, and that's going to be some serious manual labor. The backyard needs to be mowed. We need to put the pool together. together. Yeah. 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 We're ready to actually put it together. Yeah, I think now. we're ready. And it's going to take long enough for the water that if we don't have the salt and all the ingredients to make the pool what it needs yeah, to be, it'll yeah, take, it'll be fine. It's going to take, it'll a, take a day even. or two just to fill it out. Yeah, it's going to take a week to get it even remotely close to ready, so everything should work out fine. Um, and then I'll be lounging in the pool, it's gonna be so skimming nice. it every day. Yeah, cleaning it every day again. But hey, you have to clean your pool every day, but you get to clean your pool from, from the inside. inside. So, yep. you know, it's a glorious thing. Yeah, that's worth it. Totally worth it. So I'm ready, I'm ready, 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 ready to have a pool that we can just jump in when we get hot. Because, you know, uh, we see all the time around our neighborhood uh, families that are just sitting outside because it's it's really too hot in the car. Or and at least house. outside there's, or sorry, in the car, in the house. Speak for me, please. In the house, it's too hot. Yeah, so they sit out on their porch because they don't want to run the AC so much that it overpowers it. And that's, in Oklahoma, that's, it just gets that hot. And so having a pool and being able to get into the pool and cool off there, yeah. 100% worth it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. Every time I paid that water bill, it did not bother me in the slightest. Oh. I was like, bring it on! You know? Yep. Yeah. So, and the water bill, actually, for the small pool that we have is better than the air conditioning bill. I mean, if anything, the... Um, Salt yeah, that gets was a little bit on the annoying side because it it evaporates and then it gets uneven and you know and we have a, um, a salt water uh, filter and so it tells us when it needs more salt when it needs more water when it, you know all of those things and it's a daily chore. It's it, yeah, it really is. Well, owning a pool is a daily chore, but if you're willing to put forth the effort. It is positively glorious to have. Even though it's a small pool, you know, obviously we'd love a, a bigger pool, but right now I feel like the pool is is in our our range of ability. We'll pay off the house, then we'll get an in ground pool. Yes. No hesitation. <laughs> Bring it. Let's do this. Ugh. We'll get there. So. The difficulty level is exactly where our experience level is, so it's lovely. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. I can dip my body, I can lay out and get a tan, get my vitamin D, Frank Tafano. Get my vitamin D! <laughs> <It's great. laughs> Alright y'all, we're going to get some, are we getting gas? We do. Uh, we're getting gas. We are getting a few drinks for the long day. And then on to work.
Oh, Thank you very much for watching us. The return of the vehicle back to normal. We'll see you on the weekend.